What's up, Cedar Park? On today's show, meet the new tech theater teacher. Find out what you can do this weekend with an all new weekend destinations. Your Friday sports report and a brand new hype video to prepare for tonight's big game. Turn it up because the Wolfcast starts now. Welcome back to the Wolfcast. I'm Jack Paulschuk. I'm joined this morning with Katie Whitmarsh, I'm Reese Elizondo, and for Abby Martinez. Throughout the past few years, the theater tech department has had its hands full filling in the new teaching roles. This year, the school has managed to fill that role, meet Mr. Kenna or Mr. Zeff, theater tech te the theater tech's new teacher. Thanks, Katie. Mr. Zeff is the new technical theater director, and we wanted to find out more about who he is, get acquainted, and see what the future of technical theater holds here at CPHS. Before his job as a tech theater teacher, Mr. Zeff taught science in the Dallas area. Apart from his interest in science, he has an interest in theater and pursued theater production jobs all across Texas, eventually landing the job here at CPHS. Mr. Zeff is working on adapting to the workload and managing his time among classes and multiple upcoming productions. So really it's all about the timing of everything and how to dedicate time and resources that I'm still getting to, I'm still learning and I'm still understanding um, that it just as the year goes on and as more of the shows go by and as more of like the lessons go by I'll have a better understanding of just like how much time I need to dedicate to each thing and to make sure that these all these things are going off successfully. Mr. Kenna is looking forward to working with everyone and his students could say the same. So head Michael Zalaitis speaks about his experience with the changes in teachers and last year's struggle of putting on productions without much help from a teacher. We kind of just made it stuff up as we could. Being students that wasn't great personally, uh, just being honest. But um, I think we learned to adapt and overcome. But it is really nice to have somebody, hopefully, who will stay <laughs> and give us some like guidance and whatever. If you're interested in checking out the new theater tech crew have been working on, there's upcoming play, Blythe Spirit, which shows on September 30th and October 1st at 7 p.m. in the pack. You can purchase your tickets at cphstheaterarts.com. There's finally someone who can fill that teaching role. As an added note, check out the corresponding article on the Wolfpack for more information on our new uh, theater tech teacher. With CPHS News, I'm Ryan Kelly. Thanks, Ryan. SCA is hosting Fields of Faith, an event where students from all around the community can join together at Gupton Stadium to play games, enjoy pizza, and figure out how to apply the Bible as their game plan for life. Taking place next Wednesday, October 12th from 6 to 8 p.m. All middle school and high school students are welcome. Next up, we have reporter Caleb Taylor in to give us the top three things you need to know for today. Good morning, Cedar Park. First of all, a new transmission line is being built in Williamson County. This was shown to the public in a notice filed by the Electric Reliability Council of Texas, which manages the power for most of the state. The $6.1 million project will benefit the public by relieving congestion on the existing power lines and lowering electricity bill prices. It also serves to strengthen the power system against events such as the freezing and other natural causes. Next up, the heaviest pumpkin of all time in the U.S. was revealed on Wednesday. Scott Andrews brought his gourd to the Great Pumpkin Farm Festival in Clarence, New York, weighing in at 2,554 pounds. It's second only to a pumpkin grown in Italy last year, weighing just over 2,700 pounds. And finally, we got our first look at the Super Mario Bros. movie on Thursday. The trailer was released via a live stream on which Nintendo director Shigeru Miyamoto and Illumination CEO Chris Melodondri spoke about the film. Melodondri revealed the companies had been jointly working on it for the last seven years and that composers Koji Kondo and Brian Tyler have teamed up to create the soundtrack. The Super Mario Bros. movie releases April 7, 2023. This has been your top three things for today. I'm Caleb Taylor and have a bodacious Friday, Cedar Park. Super Mario! Okay. I'm so excited. I'm very excited for this. I just watched the trailer. That kind of looks so... What do you so think? It looks so cute. Fun. I think it looks it adorable. Looks mm -hmm. I th I'm so excited. I'm very excited. Yeah. I think we should all go see it together. The only I'm so thing down. is, I don't want to wait till April 7th. I know, I know that's, that's so long. That's so far away. It's almost like, like the I end mean, of the year. Seven years. Like, they've, they've been working on this time. for a long time. That is a long time. That's like, didn't it take them like, uh, like 13 years to make Finding Dory or mm. whatever? Something like that. Something like yeah. a crazy, crazy long time. It's it took them like two years to make The Godfather. So like, if this took them seven years, <laughs> that's true. it's probably going to be like three it's probably gonna be really good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, Caleb. And over to, now over to Katie and Reed for our first report for the first these announcements.
welcome back to the Wolfcast Sports Report. I'm Katie Whitmarsh. And I'm Reed Cummins. We want to start by giving a huge shout out to the girls and boys water polo teams who competed in district this past week. The girls team gave us an impressive performance and came out on top, winning the district title. The boys team fell just behind, coming home with second place overall. Congratulations and amazing job to both water polo teams. That's right. And for your volleyball update, the Lady Timberwolves kept Layman's non-scoring streak alive after a clean sweep Tuesday, 3-0. Tonight, the team travels out to Glen to play the Grizzlies at 5.30. Good luck, ladies. And finally, tonight, the Black Rain faces a huge opponent, the College Station Cougars, who are currently ranked first in district. Again, if you can't make the drive to Aggieland, head over to our Twitter at CPHS underscore sports for sports updates. Now, to get everyone hyped for tonight's big game, check out this hype video. Now we have Reagan Hill here for your weekend destination. First, Austin's most famous music festival this weekend and next weekend is Austin City Limits, a huge festival spreading across all of Zilker Park with over 100 performers and nine stages. Tacos, brews, vegan options, and more. The ACL Eats Food Court at ACL Fest offers the most delicious festival food, drinks, and sweets from Austin and the surrounding area's favorite restaurants. The lineup consists of artists like The Chicks, Pink, Little Nas X, Wallows, Red Hot Chili Peppers, and more. Three-day tickets are sold out, but one-day general admission tickets are still available on aclfestival.com for $145. Next, get ready for a frightful night and experience the 20th anniversary of the world-famous House of Torment Haunted House. Walk through this haunted house and witness your nightmares come to life. Located on Ridge Point Drive, House of Torment will be going on all throughout the month of October and early November. Tickets range from $25 to $33, so be sure to head on over to houseoftorment.com to buy your tickets and have the fright of your life. Lastly, do do you love hip hop? I for one love you some good hip hop and this weekend none other than The Vanilla Ice will be performing at the hotspot alongside other classic 90s hip hop artists. Young C, M Young MC, Tone Look, All For One, Rob Bass, and Vanilla Ice will perform this Sunday starting at 6 p.m. There will be no seated tickets sold for this event and bags should not be larger than 9 by 6 inches. General admission tickets are $59, so be sure to get your tickets now at hotspot.live. And those are your weekend destinations. I hope everyone has a fantastic Friday and a wonderful weekend, Cedar Park. With CPHS News, I'm Reagan Hill. Back to you guys. Wow. All House right. of Torment is always a banger. Um, did y'all go last year? I've no, actually, I I've did never not. been to a haunted house. I want to go, but I've never been to ever. one. I, I hate haunted houses. I, I get scared. I'll have like night terrors watching scary movies. So like oh, I, I wow. cannot. Okay. But you I, guys have fun. Yeah. You guys have fun. I know because we're trying to get a group together to mm -hmm. go. I mm -hmm. went to House of Torment last year. And it was great. I got followed by a nun. Oh, yeah. Um, and I, it was the worst thing ever. My shoe was untied. And so oh, I'm, no. like, hopping through, like, the different, like, rooms, trying to tie my shoe. <laughs> but there's, like, this nun who was, like, doing the, like, creepy, like, wa like, slow walk. But it's, like, no matter how fast I walked, he was, like, always right behind me. And he was just, like, staring at me. And he went through, like, four rooms. Like, he, like, left the room he was in, went all the way through. It was terrifying. So yeah. I hope that no, doesn't happen again. That, that sounds awful. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks, Reagan. That's all we have for you today. Make sure you are keeping up with all of our content. So head over to our YouTube channel at CPHS News. You can also follow at CPHS underscore sports for updates during the games. We hope everyone has a, enjoys the long four-day weekend, and we'll see you all on Wednesday. Thanks for taking the time to join us this morning. With CPHS News, I'm Katie Whitmarsh. I'm Reagan Hill. I'm Risa Elizondo. And I'm Jack Hammer. Remember to make it a great day or not. The choice is yours.